Welcome to CoinPicker.us, and today I'm going to cover a new feature that I do not believe anybody in the cryptocurrency space has and is enormously, enormously useful. It's why I uh, developed it, and I think you're going to find it's incredibly, incredibly powerful. What, this, what you're looking at is the total market cap right here in this blue line with moving averages for a 20 period position, a 50 period position, and a 100 period position. Now why I say period and position? Because this data is now just a couple of days old. So you see it started here on the 30th. And as it gets, as we aggregate more and more data into my data set, the 20 period and 50 period and 100 period will become more and more accurate relative to the history of the cryptocurrency market cap. So how would we use this? I'll give you a perfect example. Let's just take a look. And for those of you who are experienced traders, you already know how golden this is. But here's what it does. Here's what we're saying. So the shortest period I have now, and I'm going to change this to 10. So it'll be 10, 50, 100, but let's take 20 for right now. You can see, and it regenerates very rapidly. It's constantly regenerating. You could see right here, like right here, the 20 day crossed down through the 50 and 100, which told you right away that you were going to get a serious downtrend continuing. Now this is, this data was a little too early to really do a good job, but for instance, this cross right here tells you relatively early. I mean, we're talking within minutes. It tells you relatively early you have a significant uptrend to ride, which is what this showed, okay? And it also showed that it was getting a bit overextended here, but it's still going. So the 50, the 20 did not cross over the 50 or, or, the, uh, or the 100. But the minute it does, and in, in fact, I would say the 10 would have started crossing probably a bit earlier. But the minute it does, it tells us we're in a significant downtrend. But that's one way of doing it. The other way, and really in this market perhaps a bit more important, is when we get significantly overextended on, say, either the 20 or the 50 or even 100, it tells us that there's a high probability of a dip coming, which is exactly what happened. Same thing on the underside. If we overshoot on the underside, there's a probability of a nice run up. Keep in mind that the total market cap is composed of all of the projects on coin market cap. Now, in fact, we're not using all of the projects on coin market cap. I think the calculation is using roughly 300 out of the 1500 because that's the majority of the movement and if I track that I'm tracking everything else tracking all 1500 the the computational resources would be really really significant and I didn't want to do that and it would also take a lot of time to calculate this one takes enough time as it is but what it allows us to do is go ahead and trade much more confidently knowing we have a pretty good idea of where that trend for the entire market is heading. So let's take a look at the coin market cap really quickly. And we know we've had a massive down leg. If you're on my email list, <clears throat> what you what you want to do is, by the way, this is part of the premium analysis package. This is not going to be available for um, average users. What you get, oh, I say average users for uh, is free content. This is premium. This costs quite a bit of money to develop and to run, uh, and is relatively expensive to do so. This one is going to probably go to premium shortly because I'm about to add a, uh, an indicator that is going to make this so valuable that I simply don't want everybody to have immediate access to. So um, I, I might just keep this basic one up front and then the premium analysis section, which will be membership, um, a low-cost membership, but nonetheless membership, uh, will be for the more advanced analytical features. But if you go to coinpicker.com, click on, click on this, sign up, you'll get my alerts. And I, everybody who's on my alerts know that I, I said we we're going to be dropping significantly around this date we have. Um, I thought there would be a little bit more of a bounce. I 
bluntly will say that, but I didn't. It's not that much of a bounce, but it's it's definitely dropped, and we're just sort of trending in the water at this point. But the key thing is this: if you look on this down day, okay, we've actually we've actually started going back up, so this isn't really effective anymore. But when we have a massive drop, because if you look right here, I'll tell you, we we bounced down. I think I think as low as um, let's see, in just one month, what did we do? Yeah, we were earlier today just below 500. So we're having a bounce right now. Okay, so we did. We are getting somewhat of a bounce, as I had talked about earlier. But when we go negative, everything goes negative. Virtually everything goes negative at the same time. I have shown in previous videos that roughly 95% will track with the general market cap. So you only have a few coins. And if you remember just a couple of days ago when it really started to go down, last night even, everything was negative except for a few, like Populous and Re, uh, Revain, and a few were, were positive, but almost everything was negative. And, and that's the reason that's so important is if you're going to use this feature, you're getting probably 85% of what's going to happen. When things go up, almost when the, when, when the trend is going to be up, almost everything goes up. When the trend is going to be down, almost much more, almost everything goes down. That's how the market seems to be working these days. There's very little distinction. Obviously, you want to pick the best projects on the upside and avoid the worst projects on the downside. But this chart in the right hands with the MAs, I, I've got to tell you, is, it, may, it will make trading far, far, far more profitable far more profitable. For those of you that just buy and hold, this is not particularly useful, but if you are the type of person who wants to buy in and sell out at peaks, let it ride down, buy in some more and sell out at future peaks, this is the kind of information you definitely want. So this is gonna be available in the premium analysis package. I'll be announcing that. Also in the premium analysis package, you're gonna be get the, getting the, uh, an insight into my own portfolio that I, that I buy and sell and why I do it. I'm also gonna start including a little bit of ICO coverage. There's simply too many ICOs for me to do much of a good job on, and I prefer the analytics, but I will be including some, and that will all be in the uh, premium analysis package. So. This is coinpicker.us, and go ahead and sign up on coinpicker.us for my free email. Also, please give a, a thumbs up if you're finding any value in what I'm presenting and these unique indicators, and give a, uh, well, subscribe and hit the notification button. One more thing I just wanna mention. What seems to be showing here is that we're about to bounce back a little bit down downward. That's what it looks like. It looks like we popped up a little higher than we should have. So we might be dropping down here a little bit. Not not markedly so. It's not an extreme reading. Um, something like this was a bit more extreme of a reading. This is a little bit more extreme. This is not so extreme. And the 20 day is, is going up to meet it. So it doesn't look like it's going to go flying through the floor at all. It looks like, in fact, we're about to trend. But we definitely have a little bit of a downward bias here, just FYI, for the entire market. Uh, this is coinpicker.us, and that concludes this video.